Hello again, my name is Crystal and I'm with the Love Shack servers and today I'm going to show you how to download the Darkness Falls overhaul mod to your 7 days to die game. So let's dive right in. First thing you need to do is open up your Steam app. Once it's open, you're going to want to go over to your library tab, click on that and go down to your 7 days to die. Right click on 7 days to die, go down to manage and then click on browse local files. Once you click on that, you can get rid of your, your Steam app and it's going to open up on your computer the 7 days to die folder. So now you're going to go right here to the top and you're going to click on common and take us back to where you can see your folder. So this is your fresh vanilla, nothing done to it yet. So I want you to right click on that, go down to copy and then down below I want you to paste. Once you do that it's going to create a file and it's going to say seven days to die copy. Now that's going to take you a little bit to download. So in the meantime while that's downloading and preparing we're going to go open up your web browser and we are going to go to get your Darkness Falls file. So you are going to want to go to community seven days to die dot com forward slash topic forward slash forty nine forty one dash darkness falls dash they dash mostly dash come dash out dash at dash night forward slash. Once you are there, you're going to come down, scroll down and you will see the nice Darkness Falls mod. It's going to give you a little bit of information with the features, the 96 slot backpack, 12 slot crafting, and much more. So keep scrolling down. It'll give you some class information. Each of your class have their own new little quest line. And you're going to come down to the modlet compatibility. So what you're going to do is keep scrolling down until you get right here to this 19.5 client download not a EAC friendly. So make sure before you load into this game on your Steam that you've turned EAC off. Otherwise it will not let you load in correctly. So go ahead and click on that and pick your download folder to where you want it to go. I usually choose my downloads folder and that way it's nice and easy to find. Now that's going to take a few more minutes and so we're going to go ahead and move on to the next step. So if your stuff has not finished downloading, go ahead and pause your video. And if it has, then let's continue on our journey. So now that everything is downloaded, you're going to see this folder called seven days to die copy. You're going to right click on that and rename that file. For me, I like to name it uh, as it is, um, you can always do 72D DF, you could do Darkness Falls, you can pick whatever you want. Once you have that open, you're just going to open that file up and then you're going to come over to your, des your downloads and look for your Darkness Falls. Go ahead and open that folder and open it again. Now you are going to copy everything in that folder and then you are going to go back to your darkness falls Oops. and you're just going to click and paste. That will download all that into your file and eventually you're going to get this little window to pop up. So it's going to ask you, the destination has 11 files with the same names. Replace the file in the destination. Go ahead and click on that and it will continue over. We'll give that just a few moments. All 
All right. Now, once that file is all done downloading, you can just open it right up. And then you're going to see this first little seven days to die icon. Right click on that. And you're going to send to desktop create shortcut. And then, whoops, I'll have to turn on my icons for you. You're going to see that little shortcut pop up. Just rename your shortcut however you want to, but normally I, again, like to just name it just like the file itself. Once you're done with that, you'll go ahead and click on it to ensure that it downloaded the correct way. And when it opens, it should open to the Darkness Falls UI. All right, going through our loading screen, doing all our cache. And it'll take just a moment here. It looks just like the regular seven days at first, but when we pop into our menu, you will see that we now have, nope, oh, a little bit longer here. Let's see, while you wait, you can notice that it's Alpha 19.5 B60, so your version is correct up at the top. And here you have your Darkness Falls mod. You'll notice it's B3.5, and you can always just click into your Join a Game. For me, I enjoy the Darkness Fall again with the Love Shack servers. And happy gaming! I hope that helps you out.